I'm Katrina, I'm an aerodynamics engineer, and it's my job to make sure that air is flowing through our products as efficiently as possible. So we would have looked at the whole product from the cleaner head, through the wand, the bin, through the cyclone pack, through the motor, and then out through the filters to try and improve the path of air. The path of air is really important because we want to be able to move as much flow as possible with the least amount of power. This makes the product more sustainable. Each of us will probably be looking at a specific part of the machine. So, for example, we might be looking at cleaner heads and we might want to know how airflow could actually improve how we're picking up dust from the floor. So, we would create a mock-up like this um, and analyze the airflow using simulations or using experiments and looking at how the flow looks inside this head. Any findings that I would get from this rig, we might discuss this with other design engineers or other research engineers to decide how we can design the head to perform as best as it can. I like being able to um, really investigate the airflow um, to maybe come up with some solutions um, and actually be able to test those solutions myself and see what happens and I find that really exciting. It's also great on a day-to-day -day basis to work with such a large range of people who do so many different things and take different approaches to problems. It's, um, it's always interesting. I really loved arts and languages at school and more creative subjects, but I also really liked to learn how things worked. So I focused on maths and sciences in school. And then I went on to study maths and physics at university. And then I actually found that subjects like that can really benefit from a creative approach as well, not just art subjects. Um, I then specialized afterwards in aerodynamics before I joined Iceland. <laughs>